So my name is Leon Farasari. I'm a uh, product manager at Qualcomm. And today I'm here to show you uh, the Snapdragon mobile development platform. Um, this was announced today, and it's going to be offered through our partner, B Square. Uh, they're actually here at Uplink. Uh, talking about this uh, this development device and what this is really all about is it's a platform for developers to create applications test the applications optimize them test again uh, so it really gives you a platform to develop really rich multimedia applications for the upcoming Snapdragon chipsets. Uh, so what we did here is we uh, developed a, a 3D UI for for this uh, for this device. It's really cool. There's a creature in there that uh, could bite your hand if you get too close to it. Uh, so just just a uh, you know showcase of what you can do with with the 3D UI. Um, another really cool thing that um, that you can do with the future Snapdragon chipset um, is is the graphics capability. So uh, we have an Adreno 205 uh, core in this, and what you can do is you can really develop uh, console level, console quality uh, games on, on on this device. So this is uh, this is a game called Ilo Milo. It's really cute. You got two two characters that are supposed to get to each other, attract each other. They move stuff. Um, it's it's very very rich. It's very smooth. Um, you can actually. You can actually play the real oh, game. Oh, you can actually cash, you yeah. can actually play the game, yeah, and you can cool. see how responsive this game is yeah. to to actual play. So let's play. So these are the two characters. Um, and I'm gonna start. So it's really console level. OpenGL ES 2.0. This gives you a sense of what you can do in terms of graphics. Uh, and uh, graphics capability. And the, this particular handset is running on Android 2.1. Yes, it is. But um, you know, as we as we get closer to the actual uh, date when this is available, which is Q4 um, okay. of this year, to be square. Of course, you get the latest and greatest Android on this as well. Christmas time. Christmas Ooh. time. Yes, yes, please. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a great gift, and it's actually very affordable as well. Oh. And um, the other cool thing is, if you're developing for BMP, uh, Brew Mobile Platform, there's actually a BMP version available as well. So do you, you get to the, Do you know what the price point is going to be on on the uh, kind of like the polished device that's going to look like? Oh, this absolutely! Time? This was announced uh, this morning, and the device is going to cost you uh, nine ninety five, which is which is very affordable for a development platform. Um, you have a, a twelve megapixel camera mm -hmm. uh, for the front. You also have another camera. Um, sorry, back camera, and you got the uh, front camera, and uh, lots of cool things you can do with that. Very cool. um, you have all the sensors um, that you want, accelerometer, gyroscope, um, you have the haptics uh, motor in there, so lots of cool things. Um, the other thing I was going to show you is, so let's get out of this game, is uh, an application we made for for you know, I talked about optimization and how you can optimize your application for the for the next uh, generation. So we get to that, but you wanted to also see the HDMI capability. So um, there's an HDMI output on on this device, and the really cool thing is you got 720p. You got 720p HDMI running on the display as well as the HDTV that I got over here. So. Um, and I love, you know, I love the content. It's really, it's just beautiful. Looks great on the display. This is a multi-touch capacitive touchscreen, and then you have the um, obviously you have the um, HD TV up here that's showing the same same video. Perfect. Real time. Well, let's get to that, that that other application where you can uh, what is it? You can. Can, uh, okay, so monitor your, your systems. This one, this one is brand new application. So the UI is not there yet, but just to show you what what um, what the idea is. Uh, so you want to optimize your applications, obviously for for you know power usage, for CPU usage. Now you really don't want an application that runs for five minutes and takes 100% of the CPU. So um, what we're doing here is we're showing. Um, so you can choose. So current is where you sh where you log your um, um, CPU power. Uh, so I'll just go and do uh, my main processor. So I'm choosing that, and then I'm going to start. 
calling that data, and I can choose which application I want to run. So I have a really cool application I want to show you. It's the Scalado Photo Flow. So let's let's start that application. Okay, so so now we're polling. We're 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 now monitoring the power usage of this application. Um, so now this, believe it or not, this is a thousand images, and these are five megapixel, eight megapixel type images. And you can move it around. It's all OpenGL, um, written on the Adreno graphics um, by Escalado, and you can zoom in. Right. Um, let, me, let me find a fun, real fun. Kind of loves so how about this one? Oh, it's then, amazing. So you could do one to one yeah. zoom. I love how smooth this is. This is beautiful. And then you can you can do sorting. So you can do you know random sorting. You can do by color. You can do by time. You can move this around. So it's pretty amazing stuff. Just just gives you a, um, an idea what you can do with this type of graphics performance, this type of CPU performance. So now let me go back to my tripping. So now I just ran the application. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what my power usage was. So this is time, number of seconds, and this is your power in terms of your microamp power usage. So it just shows you where you were. And obviously you can save this data. So I can, you know, when I, I can stop, I can save this data. So I can analyze it. I can go change my application, come back and see what kind of improvements I made to my application. So very, a lot of cool very, stuff. very cool developers tool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.